Doobies, it's me, Zipster. Listen, I got a brilliant idea. I'm watching all this drama going on with the as one, be one, we're one, it's one, everything's, we're all one, peace and love. Hey, Ginger, in the car. So me and Ginger, we're going for a ride. I have decided what I'm going to do. Hey, in the car. I'm going to start right here in my own city. Go ahead. I'm going to hit every major city, let's say of over 80,000 people. Okay, 50,000. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to have to figure that out later. But I am going to hit every a major city in the United States having a YouTube gathering there. And if two tubers show up, that's great. If one tuber shows up, that's great, however many. And mine is going to be called B1. B1. You get it? B1. That's what it's going to be called. And so, um, so I need sponsors to ship and stuff because obviously I'm going to have to shut down the whole rest of my life to do this. Um, it's going to be pretty time consuming, etc., etc., etc. But you know, it's all worth it for the love of, um, the love of the community and, uh, and all that crap. Anyway, so Ginger and I are going to go, we're going out scouting locations here in my particular town, details of which will be released at a later date. Come with us on our scouting trip. Okay. Where the hell's my remote? First location I'm thinking about. Because we're right down, I mean center. Center city. You can't miss it. Because right behind me, hello, is the tallest building in the whole damn city. Can you see how big it is? It's the only skyscraper we have. So I'm figuring if anybody comes around, you just tell them, look for the skyscraper. Because you can see it for miles. And then right across from it, we have this big area. Actually, in the summer, there's like a fountain here, and it, I don't know what these are. There's a cafe to eat at, a bank, so you could, you know, take more money out of your account and shit when you run out of money. Check out banks, so there's banks everywhere. That's an empty building. Maybe we could even take it over if there's enough of us. There's a hotel right there. There's a florist in case you fall in love with one of your other tubers. You just go over there and buy them roses or whatever. I don't know. It's pretty. It's a pretty urban setting, so you'd have to bring like lawn chairs and stuff. But okay, this is just my first idea. I'm gonna take you to other places, okay? Ginger likes it though. That's all that counts. I guess you didn't get the full effect of this skyscraper, but let me try and show you. It's really quite a beautiful old deco building. Look at that baby. It's got a really cool thing. What the hell's hanging out by this building? I'm wrecking the whole damn view. It's a very cool building. Like I said, you can see it for miles. So it's like, just head toward there. That's where the gathering is going to be. I think I'm going to change the... I don't like that word gathering, though. It sounds so hippy-dippy. I think I'm going to just call it the, the B1 party. Or it could be the B1 b in. <gasps> I like... Oh! Totally remember b ins from the old days. I'm sorry, Ginger just... I was about to knock the cam out of my hand. I have her on a leash here. She's following me around. In case if you could hear her. Okay, this is like downtown. You know, this is for the really urban be in. I don't know how much the cops would like it though, even there was only 20 of us sitting around there on lawn chairs with our hibachis. Because I think, you know, rather than spend the money on food in these, in these restaurants, we should find a place where we could just have hibachis, bring around, you know, like somebody's in charge of the hot dogs, somebody's in charge of the hamburgers, and uh, just do it that way. Maybe even we could get like a, I don't know, French fries, or, oh, you know what? There's a company around here called like Smitty's. They have those little trucks, you know, and they go around and they sell French fries at little, you know, like at, when there's like a carnival or a fair or whatever, you know? So we could do that. Okay, we're gonna go to another location now. Okay, be right back. Guys, I gotta tell you, this has sort of always been a dream for me to party. Let me show you a little bit. To party in this place. This is an old, fantastical apartment building. But look at this area on top of the roof. I dreamt to my whole life getting up there for a party. Does that look fantastic? Yeah. So I thought it'd be a, maybe only 40 people, 50 people, but man, would that be the luck to work? But you might have to rent an apartment in the building to use the facility. So I could maybe like scrape up the rent for one month and pretend I was going to live there. And then we could have the party and I could get out real quick. But that's pretty cool. They're very urban, but oh, I think that's way cool. Anyway, okay, option number two. Uh, also, we could just call this place. They already got a couple of tents outside and they had beer. They probably would love to have 30 or 40 people come hanging out there. Yeah, okay. Keep it moving, mind. Yeah. 
Okay, here I found, just driving around, I wasn't even planning on this place, never even thought of it, never even knew it existed. This is just perfect in case there's only like 12 people, because you could fit, fit like six at each one of those tables. And um, I don't know who you talk to about coming here, but probably, it's probably uh, somebody, and I could probably find out. And it probably they would probably charge you cheap and let you bring hibachis. And look, if you had children, you could bring them over, there's all kinds of stuff here. And maybe they'd even let us have, you know, tents, and stuff and, and put them up like if we wanted to stay overnight because we were having so much fun that we didn't want to go home uh, you know it's a little bit more of a rural setting but right here in the city just a few minutes from downtown and only several blocks from hospitals and um and a morgue just in case anything goes really desperately wrong but just another thing to consider okay let's call this the playground okay that'll be our selection for this okay moving right along this is the last location and i will admit this one's a little bit ghetto but let me tell let me talk about the pros and cons here now we are right here is my most place i shop the very most in the whole world beer co okay i know the owner i know the owner's wife i don't know, know the owner's kid i know the owner's cousins i know everybody that works in the damn place they told me that positively we could like do a tailgate party right here in their parking lot okay best thing is they would be the official beer sponsors no doubt right next door over here right behind these dumpsters is a turkey hill hello you can get sandwiches and all kinds of stuff and we can use their bathrooms there and all you have to do is like buy a pack of gum or something there's a big bennigan's behind that for people who have a little more money and want to eat then there's dumb dan chance's greenhouse and cut flower outlet if you get bored like being here in the parking lot you can go over there and pretend you're like at the botanical gardens or something that'd be really cool and right here across this end of the parking lot is the food depot Hello, they've got, um, they make your hoagies and you can buy, if you bring a grill or something along, you can buy like cans of beans and stuff in there and heat them up on your grill. Best part though, this is, there's also a Papa John's here. So if you get, oops, I took a picture. So if you get a little, is this still shooting? You, so if you get a little hankering for uh, pizza, hello, we're right here by a Papa John's. So I don't know, there's McDonald's, there's Friendly's, Grass Rail, it's got all kinds of stuff here. And uh, we might even be able to put tents on this little piece, piece of grass here, or sleep in the cars, you know, that's fine too. Anyway, and look, there's plenty of stuff for refuse when you, we, so we can throw our garbage away and not have a whole big mess. Okay, so this is my last idea, so, uh, you know, look them over carefully and let me know which one you vote for in the comment section below. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick this up back at home and uh, wrap it up there, okay? Thank you. <laughs> hey, YouTubers, okay. I'm home safe and sound. Listen, I don't know, man. I just got a brainstorm. I'm thinking of instead of calling it, um, instead of calling it B1, what about if we call it as if? Yahoo Mail. As if. Shut up, lady. Monica. That's what I call her, Monica or Carolyn, depending on how, how, how I her low her voices. Yeah, we could call it as if. Beans. Um, incorporated. That'd be a little copyright in a circle down there okay but this one's going to be for the greater lehigh valley so if that rings a bell with you people then you um, are close enough to attend okay this is going to be for the greater lehigh valley and i'm going to try to figure it out around the beginning of april and um, like i say it's it's going to be very low key like maybe we'll have a schmitty's french fry truck and maybe uh, like a place like one of those little trucks that makes funnel cakes or something and um and uh, cotton candy and candy apples and uh, peanut brittle Maybe even a hot dog truck, because, you know, it's good to have hot dogs with french fries. Um, and uh, I'll try to get a beer truck and a couple of portalettes, and uh, we'll figure it out. So, you know, out of the locations I gave you, just pick your favorite one, and just comment below which one you which one you like. Center City, we're down by the big deco building, or, uh, what was next? Or that rooftop thing that was so cool, except I don't know if we can get in there. Or right across the street at that bar with the tents out front. Or... Who is next? Oh yeah, that little pl the playground, I believe I called it, or the ghetto um, um, uh, tailgate uh, parking lot there by the beer store. Okay, just let me know which one of those five you want to uh, you'd most like to be hanging out in for a day and maybe into the next day if we get really drunk it up. Okay, and um, and uh, and as soon as I know more, you know, as soon as we pick up the venue, <laughs> I'll let you know more details about the um, as if. Be in. Okay, you have the as if be in of the Greater Lehigh Valley. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to let me know where you want to meet up. Okay, thank you! <laughs>